Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are trying one of our one of our favorite spots called Taco Rapi Taco Rapidos, a Mexican food. So this is one of those spots that has authentic Mexican food, um, homemade tacos, uh, carne asada fries, uh, bean burritos. Almost look like the Chipotle size, but everything's just fresh and usually made to order. So. Um, can't wait. This place right here has the best taco de lenguas, in my opinion, um, around. So, uh, but yeah, this, this place has been around for a long, long time. And, um, you know, that saying, the, um, sketchier the neighborhood, the better the food. Well, this is one of those, one of those, uh, restaurants. So I think today I'm going to get, um, some taco de lenguas. So this is just beef, beef tongue tacos. Oh, uh, they make these the best here with uh, guacamole, pico de gallo, everything. And then um, I think I'm gonna get a um, a bean and cheese burrito. Um, I'm not really a big bean and cheese burrito fan, but this place makes their beans homemade. They're just so creamy. Cheese is perfect in it, melted. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get that. And then um, get something for my. Uh, for my um, my family back home, so we'll order here in just a minute. Yeah, can I get um two uh, bean and cheese burritos and uh, two tacos de lengua? Yes, and um, one beef taco and. Um, one carne asada burrito. You don't want bean, beef and cheese, beef and bean? Uh, carne asada burrito. Uh, let me get a, a large aguachate. Yeah. That'll be it. Thanks. So yeah, guys, the, the, the bad thing about these kinds of restaurants is, you know, I guess the only bad thing is you just have to wait a long time to order uh, because they're cooking everything fresh. So I don't mind. Um, and this place is 24, open 24 hours, seven days a week. So it gets really, uh, really bumping um, towards the late night hours. So, but yeah, let me show you the, the menu. You can tell that you know they try to fix it with some plastic glass and foil. But the food, I don't want you looking at that. Look at the food. I mean, those are authentic taquito plates, special side orders, combination plates. So, yeah, this place is uh, this place is busting. So I, I don't mind waiting. Let me fix that here. I don't mind the wait. Um, like I said, they make everything made to order, so I can't wait. This is yummy. The food's going to be busting, so you guys stay tuned. Um, wait a minute. We've been in line for about 10 minutes already, so we're the third car up to the window. So I'm estimating maybe another 10, 10 minutes, 15 minute wait, so I can't wait. Bussin, 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 bussin. All right, hasn't been too long, about 10 minutes, so we're up. This place smells good. Just driving by. You can smell it. Hey, what's also a beef taco, right? A what? A beef taco or no beef taco? A beef taco, yeah. Uh, 
Awa Achata. If you guys don't know what that is, it's, it's like sweet rice water. Do you know what sweet rice is? We used to eat it a lot when we were kids. Just make some, uh, boil some rice. Once it gets, this gets done, you put some milk, some little bit of sugar, a little bit of cinnamon. Thank you. just got the food so let me go ahead and find a place to park so we can grub yeah so we I landed up it was probably 15 minutes the whole time in the uh, waiting it's not terrible we got up to the window and waited another few minutes but like I said to for the good food you got to be willing to wait and that's not a problem for me. Let's over here. Oops. Find somewhere to park right here so we can eat. So yeah, guys, I can't wait. Let me show you. Here, that's yours. That's beef taco. And the salsas here are, are everything's just homemade. Red salsa is the hottest, but it's still really, really good. Um, let me show you. You guys ever go to places where, um, like this, and the customer service, there really isn't much customer service? But the food is bomb, so you just have to like deal with it. That's what. The, and that's also one of these. There's no thank you. Pull up. Thanks for coming. Just here you go. See you later. But hey, I take it. I'm not sensitive. This fat boy will take it and wait. Look at the salsa. The homemade salsa right here. Let me show you this taco, though. This taco, though, shoot, I asked for a fork because they just really stuff it with, uh, with the meat. Avocado, guacamole, everything here. Let me see. Let me see if I can pull this bad boy up and show you without making a mess. Look at that. Oh, 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 the sacrifice. I'm sacrificing some some beef taco for y'all. Doesn't that look good? I mean, look at that taco. Look how big they stuffed these bad boys. Put some of this red salsa on there. Woo! Mouse watering. Mm-hmm. On point. Mm. Everything's just fresh, cooked to order. It's not like they have this stuff just sitting around. Mm. Lucky I have a little, one of those little hand towels in here. I'm going to need it. I 
I made um, <clears throat> taco de lengua on a video a couple years ago. I'll put it in the description below so you guys can check that out, how I made it. Um, I have a different, um, I like to boil it. And then after I boil the tongue, kind of peel it, and then I cut it up and fry it a little bit. But yeah, you guys go check out that video because I want to do another one because I've been watching um, different ways to prepare it. And I think I might have a different way, another way to prepare it. And you just get better and better. You know how it is when you cook. Ooh. I'm getting messy. The food's busting though. What's up with gas too? I thought gas was going down. I just filled up. I drive a pickup, a V8, you know, diesel. And geez, like three months ago, gas was, diesel was cheaper than gas. And now for some reason it's flipped. Gas has gone down a lot. And diesel's gone up. Don't even get me going on that. I had a, a, a quarter of a tank. I only had a quarter of a tank and I've filled up $102. Golly. That's a little, I don't know, that's something. That's a little day trip or something. But I don't really have to drive far. I, I um, commute far during the week, so I guess I can't really complain. I don't drive every day to work. But I thought that's supposed to go down already. <clears throat> this green's pretty flavorful. It's not as hot. I like the red better, but let me try some of this green. Do they cook this stuff just right? They got the, um, shoot, let me see, let me put this down. They cook the tongue, they fry it. I don't know how, how they get it before they fry it, but shoot, they do it right, I'll tell you that much. It's worth the trip. Come down here, try to come down here at least once a month. Because I've tried other spots and they just, they just don't do the the beef tongue right. I've been to spots where it's kind of watery and just, uh, you know. The meat's just right. Tender. Still has got a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of crisp on the outside, a little bit of crunch. Pico de gallo, the onions. Bomb. Get another red. Is there any more red? Let's see if there's another red. Mmm. <clears throat> 
to drink this stuff. Let me see. Oops. The red is where it's at. <clears throat> mm. Look at that. One last look before I demolish it. These tacos are one of those foods too that <clears throat> if you eat in the car, your car's gonna smell like it for a week. So I got the window down. As soon as we're done, throwing all the trash out. Uh, sometimes these mom pa places like this, these little hole in the walls, they've been around forever. You just can't, these big, bigger chains just can't touch them. Because they got grandma in the back kitchen cooking, cooking all her recipes, all her experience, makes everything come out bomb. Man. Woo! I got a mess all over me. Man, that is delicious. Delicious. What the drive. Here's the bean burrito. Bean and cheese burrito. Again, they don't skimp on that. Homemade beans. Man. Man, these beans are tight what? Tortillas are handmade too. They're warm, creamy. The cheese is nice and melted. Yeah, that's I want to chop that. You guys know what? Have you guys um, ever tried this? I know 7-Eleven um, sells it like in their, on their drinks by their Slurpees and Slushies, but it's not the same. Are we out of salsa?
Yeah, they make it with that powder kind, you know, the powder and just add water. Put some green salsa in here. Mmm. So, <clears throat> I hope you guys had a good Memorial Day weekend. We had a busy one. As you guys know already, we had um, a graduation, and today we just vegged out. I had some things to do I wanted to do in the um, around the house and in the garage, but pretty much just laid around all day and rested. It's been kind of crazy the last couple weeks. Then it's back to work tomorrow, so I'm like, uh, I'll take this day just to lounge out. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, did something fun. Hmm. That's exactly what I was craving. Well, that's going to do it today, guys. I just wanted to bring you along, show you one of my favorite authentic taco spots. And, um, man, it sure did hit the spot. If you guys got a favorite spot like that, that you love, Put it in the comments below. Let me know what your kind of um, comfort food, comfort spot is like that. I mean, there's nothing like that. It just always hits the spot. So, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like. And if you haven't already done so, please think about subscribing. And, um, yeah, thanks again. We'll see you next time. Bye.